Hi, I'm Alex Brown. And I'm Nicole Smithy. We are the co-founders of Iridescent Women, an online community committed to awakening brilliance in each other through real and honest conversations and connections. Mm -hmm. And today's conversation is around the topic of are we too worried about being politically correct? Ooh. Okay, well, I'm a little worried about where this conversation is going to go. But I, no, hey, look, I'm going to be completely honest. When we thought about this topic, I was like, I, I'm going to I'm gonna say something yeah. that I don't mean, right? I'm, I'm a blonde white woman. I, I, I sometimes am worried about what I'm going to say mm. about minority cultures that I, I might be offensive without realizing it because right. I, I don't always know where or understand everything about those cultures. And it's not just that you're white, you actually grew up in a different country. Right, that with, that's also you true. You know, there's like different yeah. cultural things sure. too. And if it makes you feel any better, I'm Mexican American and I still <laughs> wonder sometimes, okay, I'm not sure if I'm saying the right thing. So sure. I think it's like a, I think it is a common question we have. Right. Um, and it's a really important one because if we want to own our voice and build connections, then we're going to have to figure out is PC something we should be aiming for? When does it get in the way? Right. And how do we really have truthful conversations? Right. And I, th I think the term PC has actually become a, like, it's got real negative connotations. Right. Like, oh, you're being PC right now. Right. Yeah. But actually, th there's an element where we should be cautious and we should seek to understand um, before just blatantly saying ignorant things out in the world, right? right? Which I, I think we start feeling comfortable doing when we're in our own little communities, in our own little tribe of people who all think the same and feel the same. And we can kind of get away with saying whatever we want, but aren't, aren't actually... We don't grow that way. Right. And we don't actually learn um, from other people right? Uh, where we could... Our, our blind spots mm -hmm. when it comes to ignorance, when it comes to racism, when it comes to sexism, when it comes to just any sort of prejudice right and, you know unless we surround ourselves with different people as well mm -hmm. and befriend people who look different than us and mm -hmm. vote different than us and think different than us and believe different than us then we're gonna we're gonna have this really small right perspective on things and then inevitably we won't we'll be fine to say whatever within that group but outside right. of that group we may end up offending and not even realize it right um and that's just ignorance yeah that is yeah and i think the more that we seek to understand we don't have to always agree we don't always right. have to share the same opinions that's what makes us great as a society yeah but i i think too little we're just standing our ground and having a i'm right attitude um when actually you might not be yeah surprise surprise yeah <laughs> well you know to that point i think we you know our culture is so prone to extremes mm -hmm. like either I'm right at all costs mm -hmm. and I'm just going to speak my truth and like who cares, right. you know, if, I don't care if I offend you, whatever. Um, and it's like, cool, you spoke your truth, but you were a jerk about it. You know what I mean? Right. And then on the other extreme, there's, you know, people who are so afraid to offend anybody that they never they actually say anything. share any of their convictions mm -hmm. or any of their beliefs or any of their perspectives. So it really becomes something that like um, stifles and muffles, mm -hmm. you know, what they could be bringing to the table. So. Mm -hmm. I think we've got to find this middle ground where we're not driven by uh, pride mm. and we're not driven by fear, mm. but we're really driven by um, empathy and understanding yeah, and connection, good. you know, yeah. like, Hey, I might think differently than you. I might not agree at the end of this conversation. Um, but I do want to hear what you have to say yeah. and it's going to better inform me. I'm going to better understand you. I'm yeah. going to, and, and I, I, we've kind of lost that dignity in conversation a lot right. and just giving honor to people like you're a human so let's hear from you, you know, and, and give space for that and then give space to be wrong to your point. Right. Like, oh, my, my bad. I didn't even know. Sure. You know, but now that I know I wouldn't approach that conversation right. that way or I wouldn't say something that way because um, you matter. I right. think when you, when you say something like that, you're really saying to that person, like, you matter. And right. That, and you're that's valued. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That's huge. That's what we all want to hear. And it's seeking a conversation that has, that comes from a heart of humility and not ignorance. Yeah. And I think that that's where we go wrong a lot of these times with these conversations is we are ignorant to certain things. And I, I will admit that there are some things that I'm ignorant in, but I now That's all of us right, <laughs> right. but yeah. I now aim to seek to have those conversations with humility and go I just honestly don't understand can you please share that with me yeah. can you please help me to understand that situation or why that might be offensive or that part of your culture so that I can approach it differently next time oh that's so good mm. well hey let's keep the conversation going we want to hear from you so mm. uh should we be worried about being PC um <laughs> and how do we Share our convictions and own our voice mm -hmm. in a way that bridges connections with people and empathy with people. Um, 
let us know. We'd want to hear from you. And we look forward to many other videos and conversations with you on important matters. Hey, remember, uh, we believe that honest conversations are catalytic and they provoke change. Mm -hmm. So own your voice, share your story, and keep it real.